We got a we got a full trunk here. Wonder where our adventure is leading us today. So, any guesses on where we're going today? I do. <laughs> uh, we're a little stuffed. You saw the trunk already. Mm. Look at all the stuff in the back seat. I'm also gonna pillows and everything today. everywhere. This is the children's first camping trip. We are taking us on a camping adventure. So we're definitely going to film along the way. This is probably going to be a, what, three to four? Easily. Three to four Baseball log. history, yeah. ghost hunting, amusement parks, beaches, skyline of Chicago, safely far away from it. Hopefully we can see it. So we're going to take you on our adventure. Like I said, going to be a few different vlog days, so should be fun. Let's do this. We're almost there to Indiana. Anyone see the sign? As you miss our bantering back and forth because my wife doesn't let me drive. Well, if you would drive the right way, I wouldn't have to talk to anyone. There it is. Welcome to Indiana. Crossroads of America. We are taking a little stop to one of our favorite stops on the way to Michigan, Pickett's Farm. They have amazing pie, and Doug is going in the wrong way. Well, that's because that lady was almost going to hit me. So I kind of see So I guess here we go. We'll just park right over here. Sweetness. So they have amazing pies here, and they've got, ooh, looks like a popcorn tent over here. Oh, crap. So they've got tomatoes over here. Looks like some apples. Peppers, garlic, pears, cucumbers, zucchini, fresh sweet corn. Here's the amazing pies. One apple pie. Corny got an apple. And Doug found some apple cider donuts. And they've got cookies over here. Syrup. So we just finished at Piggott's. We got apple cider donuts, whoop, whoop. a mini apple pie, and Yum. corn on the cob. So, can't wait to cook that up tonight. Yeah. Now we are on our way to our campsite at Eden Springs. Historic Eden Springs. And, yeah, it should be quite the adventure. Okay, here we are. We're pulling in. We're camping. So there's a little house right up there, and that's where we check in at. So I would park over. So when you pull in, there's this big grassy area that you park at. And Courtney fell out of the car. There's an old firehouse here. So they have cabins over here. Down that way is the road to get over to the old amusement park. This is the campground over there. Doggies. Doggies. It is. And there's a little doggy. Hi, puppy. Okay, here we go. We are on our way. Bye, doggies. Can't say that word. So we're going straight. There's a black cat back there. Don't let it cross your path. Oh, that happens a lot at dad's. You Look how cute them. this is. So this is what happens when we leave the kids in charge of keeping the tarps held down. They're all over the place. Oh, almost flew away again. Wonder how long this will go on for. Should we just keep filming and see what happens?
Well guys, we got our tent set up. Took a little bit, but we did it. It's time to watch the great jackals of the wild. Here's the rules. There's no vehicles, foot traffic only, please. So here's the Eden Springs Park train station. Here's the tracks. Unfortunately, the little train isn't going due to COVID. But they keep all the trains. If you follow that track around, that building over there is what houses all the trains. And if any of you are from the Chicago area, they do have one of the trains from Kitty Land here. We're hoping to get a tour of it tomorrow. Um, the lady in charge of the campground gave us, uh, said that tomorrow if she has time, she'll bring us in to see the trains. So this looks like it used to be some type of fountain or a little koi pond or something. So remember, this park is abandoned. It was abandoned for many, many years. They just recently started to do work on it to bring it back. This bridge is original to the park. Right now. So here's where they used to have uh, bands and play, bands play and musicians. A little golf cart going by. There used to be a bowling alley over here and a pool hall. And that over there are the bathrooms. We're going to walk down and get a closer view. <clears throat> and if I can find a picture, I'm going to put a picture up right here to show you what it used to look like. So here's the inside of one of the old bathrooms. And here's the other one. So here's one of the fountains that's original. They started last year actually turning it on, but this year, thanks again due to COVID, they haven't turned the fountain on. But it looked really, really neat last year because all the water would, would pour over. There's some of the old buildings that are starting to fall apart. We'll get you guys a closer view when we get back up there. There used to be a restaurant up there, and I think there might have been a bar up there too. And those are the tracks that used to go around the, all, the whole park. And supposedly, this is where Walt Disney was getting his ideas for Disneyland. Because Walt Disney did come here before Disneyland was built. And it's rumored that his train that he had on his property, that he had the House of David people build his train for him. So... Here's these big tall stairs that we're going to go climb up. Hopefully I don't kill myself. There's stairs all over. You guys see this? There's stairs everywhere. Okay, well I made it up. Kyle's coming. There's a big uh, light up here. We found more stairs that go up this way, so we're going to check this out and see where they go. So this led to like a little grassy path. Not sure where we're going, but I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay. Let's see where this goes. Any guesses on what we find? A lot of trees all over. Yo! Pine cones all over. So we found this bench that is most likely original to the land. This is the old train track that went around the entire park. And we'll get over as close to the, the bridge as we can get. You guys, check this view out. I guess this is what it means that Walt Disney got his vision because he was able to see the entire park from up here. We're almost at the bridge for the train. So here's that side of the restaurant that I was showing you guys from before. 
they're scaffolding, so they're working on getting it fixed up again. You see that little sign above the door? Restaurant. That's all that's left of the restaurant over here. So it looks like this used to be the greenhouse that they had. I guess that big sign that says greenhouse is what gave it away. But if we look at the sign on the door, it says future home of Eden Springs Park at the House of David. It's going to be the museum, which we are actually planning to go to the museum on Monday. So we'll take you guys along for that too. So here's the inside of the train station. Before COVID, you used to be able to buy some refreshments there. They had popcorn and ice cream and pop and water. Well, they even have funhouse mirrors over here. Let's see what we've got. Oop, I'm all stretched out. Let's see this one. I'm on late. Oh. Ooh, I look even shorter in this one. Ooh, and even shorter in this one. And look, they're celebrating 110 years in, in 2018. So here's where you would normally buy your tickets for the train. Doug, do you remember how much it was? It was like a walk ride? or two. It wasn't, it wasn't very expensive to take a train ride. So we'll make sure we put the link for this place in this video that we're doing. You know it's not expensive when five of us go all go at one time. So here's a little bit of information about the House of David Baseball Park. And here's just some other information. Oh, there's what the ticket booth looked like. Actually, I think we just saw that ticket booth. We'll have to go back over and see. And there's the ticket booth. I'm almost positive that that was the ticket booth. We'll have to see if we can find some more pictures of that. Just to give you guys a heads up, they now require you to pay to come on this beach and they used to not have to do that. So once you pay, you get this little recreation tag and you got to put it in your window. So it was $9 for all of us to get in. Uh, we almost didn't come because, like I said, we never had to be pay before, but we changed our mind and decided it was worth it. It is. Here is the big dune hill. Well, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's so You've been here people. before. It's okay, Courtney. We could still do it. So the sand dune, we love to climb up, and it's really, really big. Like, really massive. So we're excited to get up there and climbing up to again. I'll be more excited. Ignore the big breeze, but here we are. This is beautiful Lake Michigan. The sand is amazingly soft, and the waves are huge. They seriously look like ocean waves. Hurricane. You guys see these waves? Like it's crazy. Look at that. I've never seen Really guys, look at these waves. I feel like we're at the ocean. I really do. I think these waves are bigger than when Doug and I went to Florida last year for our honeymoon. Well, here's the big dune. We're about to venture up it. Courtney already passed out. Kyle's about to go down too and we haven't even started up the hill. And Doug is whining because it feels like he just stepped on 5,000 Legos. So I'll record along the way. Let's hope we make it. Good thing it took my blood pressure medicine. I shouldn't have a heart attack. But we'll see what happens. Anyone else see how blue that sky is? We're going to get closer to it. That's a sock. I don't know what that is. We're not going to... Don't touch it! What is wrong with you? It's a show! It's actually a show! That log that Doug's running to is our first goal to stop and breathe. Okay. We made it to our first stop. Doug is going up to the next one. So... Sadly, this is as high as we've gotten. We haven't gotten halfway. We're maybe an eighth of the way. Still got all that way to climb up. Okay, made it to checkpoint number two. And Doug's all the way up there. Doug, wave! As you guys can see, Everyone needs to 
stop and take a breather climbing up this thing. There's Doug, struggling to get up. Made it to checkpoint three. We're getting there. A little bit more to go. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it from here. All the way over there. We made it again. You can see. Okay, about three quarters of the way up. I feel like I'm journaling. Me being like deserted for days. getting there. It's taking a while. Slow and steady wins the race. Right, Allison? Well, we made it. Hey, the former smoker. Two years done with it. And I made it before nine-year-old, 12-year-old, 15-year-old, and Watch I won't it. say her age because she's my wife. So here's all the people up here. There's quite a few people. Some are wearing masks, some are not. We are some of the ones some that are jerk not. Some face is smoking. Because we are away from everyone. We're choosing to be that way. We are working our way down the hill. It's a lot easier going down than going up. Going down is definitely letting gravity work with us. As you can see, Courtney's trying to slide down the hill. That kid's got the right idea, look. She brought a little tent camp her canopy with. A tent sled. <laughs> oh God. All that work to get up just to come back down. There goes Courtney rolling down the hill. That'll be fun to get all the sand off of her after. Well, we made it back down. Definitely was a lot easier to get down. Doug started the fire. Doug didn't start the fire. It would always burn if it was a turn it. So we're all in our comfies. Kind of. Our PJs. 